They might be struggling academically, but the behavior in their single-sex class has been exemplary. Blazers off, please. With lessons over for the day, the boys and girls now have their first joint activity, a rehearsal for their end-of-term performance of Gilbert and Sullivan's opera, The Mikado. Face this way. So, will the distraction of the opposite sex affect their behavior? Would you stop talking, please? Then, carry on. <laughs> what we've got with the boys, them thinking it's just a great big joke. I will not have you ruining this. I suggest that the back row of boys come down here, where we can see them. Bring your chairs and come and sit here. Do you the... think I'm bluffing? I'm not bluff bluffing or laughing. What do you say? Bluffing. What about? That I will not just exclude you from this activity and you'll do prep. The constant giggling, the interrupting. Pardon? I beg your pardon. pardon. Would you go outside, please? <laughs> Nathan Annie Dugby is sent out to reflect on his bad behaviour. You knew that I addressed that last speech to you without naming you specifically because we had eye, -eye contact the whole time I was doing it. But it wasn't just me, that's the thing. You were taller than the rest of no, the no, group. No, no, because no, I'm not taller than the rest of the group, miss. Jeff, Jefford, he's as tall as me. Well, you were the one. No, who no, miss! How dare you speak to me like that? Back inside, there's been no improvement in the boys' behaviour. Boys, if I turn round once more and see you mucking around, then I will be furious. I'm not having every rehearsal like this because it will kill me. Good. Which of you said that? Which of you said good? It's the boy that was selected as a principal part. At the moment, Mr Stanley, I am this close to saying, why should we use our free time to give you something enjoyable? It's the final straw for Miss Gibson. Mr Stanley is left holding the fort. Get that smirk off your face, Peters, cos you're the top person on my list. Stand up straight. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down there, you two. Come here. So if you come here. If come here. Come here. No. Come here now. Come here now. Get out. <laughs> Keep running round this tree. Keep running round this tree. Go, 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 go. We are trying to teach you the music for Gilbert and Sullivan's Mikado. And all you can do <laughs> is disrupt, laugh. Be pathetic. We've already had and a dug be sent out. We now have Peters running round a tree. <laughs> Stand up. The musical miscreants are handed over to Matron, who's never short of chores for naughty boys. I thought they were on a nice, even keel, but they'd just tipped over yet once again. Um, Peters is gardening. Nathan is doing all the ironing. And Razak is cleaning my um, copper and, and my silver. I am so cross 